Good afternoon, it's still the 11th of August 2020 and we are going to do the final day, 9, uh, the Novena to Our Lady of Walsingham, the title of which is The Coronation of Our Lady. The intention of the day is for the conversion of England and Wales and there will be some prayers at the end of the Novena which follows it, I probably will record one or two of those at the very end. So the opening prayer, the ninth day of the Novena to Our Lady of Walsingham. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Reflection I confer a kingdom on you, just as my father conferred one on me. You will eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones to judge the twelve tribes of Israel. Luke 22, verse 30 Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let us pray for the conversion of our country, that through the reconciling prayers of Our Lady of Walsingham, it may once again be worthy of the title, the Diary of Mary. We pray for the intentions of Her Majesty the Queen, the Royal Family, the Prime Minister, and for those in both national and local government. We pray for a renewal of marriage and family life in England and Wales and for a return of our nation's peoples to Christ and our Christian roots. In our prayer we take Our Lady of Walsingham's hand. When England goes back to Walsingham, Our Lady will come back to England. The prayer, Lord God, in the mystery of the Incarnation, Mary conceived your Son in her heart before she conceived him in her womb. As your, we, your pilgrim people, rejoice in her patronage, grant that we also may welcome him into our hearts, and so like her, he made a holy house fit for his eternal dwelling. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And together we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Edward the Confessor, pray for us. The Novena in honour of Our Lady of Walsingham feast day, the Angelus, prayer of devotion and belief in the Incarnation, in memory of the very first of Our Lady's joys, the Annunciation. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word became flesh, we bow gently and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the Feast of Our Lady of Walsingham. Lord God, in the mystery of the Incarnation, Mary conceived your Son in her heart before she conceived him in her womb. As we, your pilgrim people, rejoice in her patronage, grant that we also may welcome him into our hearts, and so like her, we made a holy house fit for his eternal dwelling. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The daily prayers for the Novena, the Angelus Promise, a new spiritual exercise based on the Angelus to help us prepare for the rededication of England as the Dowry of Mary in 2020. The response the Angel of the Lord declared unto Mary and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. As God once chose Mary to become the mother of his son through the message of an angel, so he chooses me this day and invites me through the ministry of the church or example of another to seek and do his will at this moment in my life. Together we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Mary's response to her invitation. Let it be done to me according to your word opened her heart to God's grace and all things became possible. Let my yes today take away fear as I embrace God's will and like Mary ponder these things in my heart. And the word became flesh we bowed genuflect and dwelt amongst us. At a moment in history Mary's faith-filled yes conceived him first in her heart, which then led to the birth of our Saviour. Through accepting him in my heart, enable me to recognise my role in bringing Christ to my sisters and brothers today. And together we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Response. Pray for us, O most holy Mother of God. First, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O holy Mother of God, pray for us as we dedicate ourselves this day. Your yes at the Annunciation 
brought our Saviour Jesus into the world and you invite us to contemplate the great mystery of the Incarnation, sharing your joy in announcing that the Word was made flesh and lived among us. May our yes this day open our hearts to serve our sisters and brothers in this your dowry, that they too may share our joy in the good news that God walks among us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. I will pray the last prayer. Well, it isn't the last one, but it's the last I'm going to read, and it's very long. Um, is a prayer for England. O Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our most gentle Queen and Mother, look down in mercy upon England, thy diary, and upon us all who greatly hope and trust in thee. By thee it was that Jesus our Saviour and our hope was given unto the world, and he has given thee to us that we might hope still more. Plead for us, thy children, whom thou didst receive and accept at the foot of the cross. O sorrowful mother, intercede for our separated brethren, that with us in the one true fold they may be united to the chief shepherd, the vicar of thy son. Pray for us all, dear mother, that by faith, fruitful in good works, we may all deserve to see and praise God together with thee in our heavenly home. Amen. God bless you all. Please be with me and thank you for listening and watching. May you have a blessed and holy and happy rest of the day. Next time it will be the prayers only for Walsingham and history of Walsingham. Thank you. God bless you.